She ain't gonna be like, yeah, you know, yeah, he put that dangling on me, and yeah, it was good, and it went right to my head, and I gave him the job. That's what she should have said, because that's what happened. You know what I'm saying? He didn't sit there and hit it so good. She's like, you can prosecute Donald Trump and his crew. He turned around after that and said, the only thing a woman can do for me is make a sandwich. <laughs> If I was her, you know what I would have done? <laughs> I would have made that sandwich and stuffed it down his throat and stuck the spoon up his ass. <laughs> this is PA Texas, and I'm back with Pissy. I don't know if you know this, but Donald Trump has got a bunch of, he has a bunch of cases and a bunch of charges filed against him for mainly, number one, stealing the election. Well, trying to steal the election, excuse me. Now, Fannie Mae Willis, not Fannie Mae, Fannie, <laughs> excuse me, Fannie Willis has been, is the district attorney for Fulton County, Georgia. Now, if y'all don't know what Fulton County, Georgia is, that is the place where Donald Trump called to get the attorney general or the secretary or something, the state or something, to steal the votes, to, tell, to get the 11,080 votes from Georgia so it can swing the state from Biden to Trump. We need only 11,000 votes. We have far more than that as it stands now. We'll have more and more. We're, we're done by accounting firms, law firms, etc. And even if you cut them in half, cut them in half, and cut them in half again, it's more votes than we need. Well, Mr. President, the challenge that you have is the data you have is wrong. <laughs> uh, we, we talked to the congressmen, and they were surprised. Now, with him doing that, he was committing a crime. So Fannie Willis... She uh, she's the one that indicted all of these bozos. She got all these bozos <laughs> indicted. She saw it all of them. So they all have a lawyer. All right. They have a whole Spain. And if you don't know, this is Donald Trump here. I don't know who these bozos, but Giuliani's in here somewhere. There, there he goes right there, and uh, two of these people have turned on him. This lady here, this lady here, they've turned on him. The lawyers for them have now flipped the script and say, Fanny, you've been doing something you ain't supposed to be doing. I know what Fanny been doing. Fanny to sit over there and got her some little, some little man candy. She got her a little piece of, a little piece of A. And did turn around and tried to hire him as a special prosecutor to prosecute this. She tried to give him a favor, do him a favor. Do you swear me, Your Honor? Whomever would like to. Fannie Mae Willis, who is prosecuting Donald J. Trump, and the J stands for jackass, and his crew. Rudy Giuliani and the other buzzards, because they tried to steal the election, the, the Georgia vote. They brought charges against some cats. And so Trump sent his lawyers at them, and buddy, they're over there steaming and smoking. So she's going to explain her relationship with whoever the dude is. I'm not finna look him up. It's just one. It's just somebody she was messing with. It looks like one of her honey pots that she put down and, and gave him the gave him the prosecution and the investigation, the special prosecution of a lifetime. Now, <laughs> she that got up in here, she started to look a little suspect. I ain't trying to sit here and hate on her, but she's she's not answering these questions because you know when you ask a you ask any woman about a relationship, she gonna lie. I, she gon' lie, she gon' lie. But anyway, let's not go there, you know. 
it's it's in a nature to lie. She ain't gonna be like, yeah, you know, yeah, he put that dangling on me, and yeah, it was good, and it went right to my head, and I gave him the job. That's what she should have said, because that's what happened. But it's okay. It's, it's like a, a woman doesn't have the right to keep her private life private, and I'm speaking on this because there have been all these in, intimations. You still haven't answered the question, Ms. Willis. I'm sorry, what was the question, Your Honor? Is there anyone else who knew about it? And then you can explain. I, I don't know. I don't think so. I certainly didn't um, go out telling my business to the world. Okay, so, the best of your recollection, you didn't inform anyone on the prosecution team that the individual that you had chosen to lead the prosecution team had a personal relationship with you. So is that correct? That's inaccurate. Your, your question is inaccurate. What? Because you, you stated that the person I chose, we had a personal relationship. So we had a friendship. We have, to, we have all these distinguishing factors. Remember, when I chose him in November of 21, first of all, let's get this straight. Mr. Wade was not actually my first choice. That's no insult to him. Your Honor, no, no, no. I, I it is you, because of the way you phrased the question. You said, when I chose him, I didn't inform people of a personal relationship. We have defined personal as romantic. It is an inaccurate way to state the question. Then I will as, certainly restate it so it is very accurate. Okay, and please do not yell at me. <clears throat> you hired Mr. Don't say please to that motherfucker. Say, tell him, say, tell him, you... Punk ass business, you better not yell at me. Wade, for the first time on November 1st of 2021, correct? November of 2021, okay. yes, sir. Your testimony is, whether one accepts it or not, your testimony is <clears throat> that at the time you hired Mr. Wade, there had never been a romantic relationship with Mr. Wade before you hired him, correct? Yes, my testimony is that we were very good friends, but not. But we're talking about a sex, so let's just don't. Well, no, I'm not talking about. I'm saying yeah, romantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, let's keep it funky. Let's keep it funky. <laughs> let's keep it funky. We talk about relationships. We talking about. We talking about the. Yeah, we let's let's keep it funky. You know what I'm saying? Because you know. Anyway, let's widen this a little bit. Let's widen this a little bit. So you too. Let's keep this. Let's keep it funky. Now you comment down this in the section. Is it a personal relationship if y'all are not having sexual intercourse? I'm waiting on that answer. Okay. Twenty-one. Yes, okay. sir. Your testimony is. Whether one accepts it or not, your testimony is <clears throat> that at the time you hired Mr. Wade, there had never been a romantic relationship with Mr. Wade before you hired him, correct? Yes, my testimony is that we were very good friends, but not, but we're talking about a sex, so let's just don't. Well, no, I'm not talking about, I'm saying romantic relationship doesn't necessarily have to be just sex. Well, it can I be dating, know. it can be holding hands, it can be any of those things that one might call romantic. I'm asking you whether or not prior to November 1st of 2021, there was a romantic relationship with Mr. Wade. That's very simple. It's either a yes or a no. I don't consider my relationship with him to be romantic before that. I'm not a hand holder, so no. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, she ain't no hand holder. Yeah, she ain't no hand holder. You want to be romantic with her, you're going to have to bring the wood. You're going to have to stroke the coochie. You're going to have to stroke the kitty. You're going to have to pet the cat. You're going to have to eat the cat. Yeah, yeah. She's some, oh, that's an OG prosecutor. You know, like, you're so punk ass out of here. We ain't talking about no uh, holding hands and we ain't getting it in. She's like, I ain't holding your hand unless, you, unless I can get that ass. That's what she just said to you. And I'm going to translate for you. Since you want to be this old uh, Matlock-looking-ass motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? That's what she said. Anyway, let's keep going. Now, let's move beyond November 1st of 2020. Yeah. 2021, excuse me. If I understand your testimony, there was no romantic relationship with Mr. Wade until 
early in 2022, whether it be January or February or March, early in 2022, correct? I would say sometime between February and April. Yes, sir. All right. Now, I'm asking you about that time period when it became romantic. Yes, okay? sir. Thank you. Okay. You didn't see the need, if I understand, to tell any of the people on the prosecution team when you had established a romantic relationship with Mr. Way, prosecution team, when you had established a romantic relationship, you didn't see the need, if I understand, to tell any of the people on the prosecution team when you had established a romantic relationship with Mr. Wade, that the lead prosecutor, that is the people, the man that was basically giving orders to others, was dating or having a romantic relationship with you, correct? I'm going to object to relevance at this point, Your Honor. Not just relevant. relevance. It just. She done gave him a job. She, he done hit that coochie so good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He didn't sit there and hear it so good. She's like, you can prosecute Donald Trump and his crew. Man, he must have been laying that pipe. Fellas, take notes. Lay that pipe. She give you opportunity. Women to give you these opportunities. You look good and lay that pipe. They'll give you the word. Because you don't have to be qualified. You just have to look good and lay the pipe to prove or attempting to show and some of these freaky ass girls they want you to eat the cat and then lay the pipe then eat the cat again and lay the pipe i don't know how i would know this that's just what i heard that there is an issue on the credibility about the relationship the failure to have informed anyone anyone on her team that she was having a romantic relationship with the lead prosecutor i suggest gives rise to that inference. That's the rub of this. The inference that... The inference that... that they were concealing this because it was not as it, it's been characterized to the court, and that it, in fact, it started earlier than what they say. All right, overall, Mr. Sedan. I just want to make sure that we're clear. From at least 2020, me and Mr. Wade were friends. At least that time period. Okay, I'm not talking okay, about. So no, no, no. I just I want to be clear because my credibility is being evaluated here, right? We were friends. We hung out prior to November of 2021. In November of 2021, I hired him. I do not consider our relationship to have become romantic until early of 2022, because I don't know what date. But was it sexual? Yeah. Did he lay the pipe? Did y'all get drunk and did y'all get drunk and pipe and, 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 and bone? Did he hit that spot one night and you was like, oh, we just buddies and we not romantic, but we freaking DK. See, everybody wants to have this Scarlett O'Hara gone with the wind or uh, 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 whatever the, you know, relationships. These girls be going to drink that vodka and get that wood. These hoes is freaks. I don't want to hear that. Then she got it here. She like, woo, he made me bust a couple nuts. Go ahead. You got it. Time, I'm saying sometime between February and April of 2022, and very early April of 2022, because I know that trip that I discussed with you was like the first week of 2022, that the relationship had become romantic. I hope that answered your question, but I can't have it where, you know, we're saying something differently. <laughs> All right, so you've established the timeline, as you put it. The question originally was, uh, at the time, at that time, did you tell any other prosecutors? Uh, other prosecutors? I never tell people at work who I'm dating. All right, Mr. Sato. Okay. Chip, so I'm sure if you ask Mr. Wade, because he's a male, he would say we ended June or July, because physical contact ended then. Just in my mind, being a woman, it's over when you have that like hard conversation. We 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 are different so much as men and women, and I just found this out.
thanks to the late, great Kevin Samuels. I hate to say that, ladies. I was blind. Somebody told me that we are equal, and I, <laughs> I found this out the whole... Well, I found it out a little bit before that, but once he said it, once Kevin Samuels said it, I was just like... Yeah, he, he was able to put it into a into into he he was able to put it in, in, in words to where I was just like, you know what, we are not equal, and she's saying the same thing. We are not equal. We don't even be in relationships the same way. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's my two cents. Nobody's trying to hear me. Let's get to the good part. That's, I just think women and men think differently. And I think the answer, Mr. Said, out of your question was she's not sure. And she's absolutely correct. And I spent decades, a couple, about a decade of hell, thinking that men and women think the same. Boy, was I wrong. Whether it was before or after the indictment. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure that that was her answer, but let's see if I can get specific. Okay. That is what I said. That's what I said. I'll let you. Next question, Mr. Stato. If you need to clarify. Want to say one more? One. The romantic relationship ended before the indictment was returned. Yes or no? To a man, yes. Well, to a man, yes. To you, no? She, she's explained this, right. Mr. Stato. She's explained this. <laughs> and did the, and the, did the forthcoming indictment have anything to do with that? Ooh. Or was it just a coincidence? <clears throat> Mr. Let's go on and have the conversation. Well, I'm just asking you whether or not it was a... Let me translate. Let's just keep it funky. Let's just keep it funky. She feel... Well, she the move the papers aside. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep it funky. It had absolutely nothing to do with this. It's interesting that we're here about this money. Mr. Wade is used to women that, uh, as he told me one time, the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. We would have brutal arguments about the fact that I am your equal. I don't need anything from a man. A man is not a plan. A man is a companion. And so there was tension always or not it was a coincidence had absolutely nothing to do with this it's interesting that we're here about this money mr wade is used to women that uh as he told me one time the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich <laughs> he hit him with the kevin samuels <laughs> rest in peace he hit him with the cans he hit him with kevin samuels all you can do is make me a sandwich shut the <laughs> Hold up, man. Time out. Is this the man who you just gave the job to to be the special prosecutor against Donald Trump and his conspirators for trying to steal the election from Georgia? And he said... That, and he said that the only thing that a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. <laughs> That's what he said. And you took that? Hold on, we're winding this, we're winding this. Hold on, hold on. I got to hear this again. I got to hear this again. Because may, maybe I, I'm going senile or crazy or something. Did that? Is that what that nigga said? Is that what he said? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Absolutely nothing to do with this. It's interesting that we're here about this money. Mr. Wade is used to women that, uh, as he told me one time, the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. We would have. Okay, I heard it right. So she appointed him special prosecutor. <laughs> and he turned around and told, let me tell you how stupid this is. That's how stupid. I'm saying he ain't the only man that's like this. I've seen a bunch of them. He sat there and told her the only thing a woman could do for him is make him a sandwich. After she, he, her, the elected 
district attorney of Fulton County, Georgia, elected, I mean, I mean, appointed this his ass to be a special prosecutor, to be a special invest, special prosecutor of the Donald Trump election thievery case, a case of a lifetime. And he said all a woman could do for him is make a sandwich. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I'ma tell you, I'ma tell you what I'd have done if I was her. And I'm not a woman, so I can't really speak on women's affairs. But I'ma tell you what I'd have done to that stupid ass mother. I would have stole that 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 pussy ass nigga. Let me just tell you what I'd have done with him. I would have said that and made him that say, hey, hold up, time out, time out. I ain't even, I ain't even, I, and on top of that, she was giving him some coaching. She was giving him some ass. Hey. And he turned around after he had shot his load off in her. God knows where. And she been sitting over there humping on him, giving him some, gave him a job of a lifetime and gave him some Hey, that that coochie must have sucked if he said that. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Your, her head must have sucked anything. That's, they got that AKA outfit on. He turned around after that and said, only thing a woman could do for me is make a sandwich. <laughs> if I was her, you know what I would have done? <laughs> I would have made that sandwich and stuffed it down his throat and stuck the spoon up his ass. That's what I would have done after I would have appointed him special prosecutor to the Donald Trump election fraud case in the state of, in the county of Fulton, in the state of Georgia. You got to be kidding me. And that's the kind of, and that's the kind of cat, that's, that's the kind of, that's the kind of, that's the kind of dude y'all ladies get some ass to. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. And I ain't hating on him. Yeah, I am hating on him. I don't give a fuck. He ain't going to do nothing to me. Uh, as he told me one time, the only thing a woman can do for him is make him a sandwich. We would have brutal arguments about the fact that I am your equal. I don't need anything from a man. A man is not a plan. A time out, time out. Just because you don't need nothing from a man doesn't mean... You know what? Every woman needs something from a man. You need somebody to change your smoke detector. You need to change somebody to change your tire, change your oil, change, change, uh, 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 change, wire your house, build your house, build your streets, build your sewer, make sure water gets to your house, turn on your power, keep the power running. If the power grid goes down, ain't no lady sitting over there. Take out your trash. No. Now, you are not a man's equal, but a man is not your equal either. We all play roles in this. In, in. You know, you can go get a bum under the bridge to change your smoke detector battery and open your open your jar jam so you can feed your grandmother. They are not your equal. But anyway, let's keep going man is a companion and so there was tension always in our relationship which is why i was give him his money back I and this is the thing yeah i see it she was always give us his money back because she had bread you know she was thinking she was his equal matter of fact hold up time out when when it came to her giving him a job <laughs> he worked for her <laughs> you know what i'm saying so her saying the equal is actually in a place of the workplace because she didn't he didn't go out and get elected as district attorney she won elective office he is an employee of someone who is an elected official that's a difference but that doesn't make her equal and that doesn't make him equal they are just different and they were just trying to put it together and he said, all you can do for me is make me a sandwich. <laughs> I have stuck that spoon up his ass. Pause. And I would have put it on the, oh, I, not only would I stuck it up, I would have put it on the butt, on the stove, you know what I'm saying, and burnt it a little bit. Sandwich this, bitch.
I don't need anybody to foot my bills. The only man who's ever foot my bills completely is my daddy.